the Black Mesa Hazard course for security guard training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get you'll need to practice is jumping. Good work. Please proceed to the next room. You'll need to duck under the next set of obstacles. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now, try to find Good work. You will look prepared for the next station. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward... Nice work. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. The next four down. jumps get more difficult each time. If you keep falling short, you may be jumping too soon. <laughs> to start the lift, walk up to the button and press it. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your fuse key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations, such as this one, throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Nothing else works. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the box. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The target will be good until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during the instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. 
To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Training target range. You may advance. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means... the surface and your breath. You regain health lost from holding. If you pass. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in the same gun display. Please proceed to the next section. scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. Yes, I Perhaps will follow you if you wish. Access denied. Access granted. Press your use key to engage the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Mesa Research Facility. The time is 8.42 a.m. Current topside temperature is 91 degrees. today. Inbound from the Area 8 topside dormitories to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled passengers should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to board a high security train at the Central Transit Hub if you have not yet submitted your identity to the Red Hill Clearance System, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be admitted to the High Security Branch of the Transit System. If you wish to transfer to the Sector B or C medium security lines, you may do so before you reach the Central Transit Hub at the Area 9 Security Checkpoint. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only and requires that you wear your security badge at all times.
a vinyl. Friend like you. Man. Hey, Calhoun. Looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, Calhoun. This train is now transferring to the Sector C line of the transit system. This is a medium security area of the Black Mesa facility. Be sure to wear your identification badge at all times. Arriving at Area 3 security facilities. Hold on a minute. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Okay, I think I got it. Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions, it's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. What? I can't Looks like access some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? How's it going? Here you go, Calhoun. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots... Sorry, Calhoun, I'm on duty. Shouldn't you be on duty by now?
Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. I'm a little busy right now, Cal. Catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Good morning, Gordon. Don't you have your own job to be doing? Have a good one, Calhoun.
Excuse me, but I'm rather hurt. All right. Yes, this should help. That doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Okay, I hope you know what you're doing. Of course. Theoretically. Do you smell something burning? I can't really tell. Right. Let's try this. Ah! Oh! Whoa. That was close. <coughs> Well, do you have any idea what you want? If you're waiting for the train to Sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Well, it's about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Oh dear! Materials people again, always pushing their equipment too hard, dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them.
Calhoun! How did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell me. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be.
I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <coughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards and hoping escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me, if you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place.
Memo. Here. No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. Let's go. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? to go another step. Hello? Can anyone hear me?
Can anyone hear me? No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. But you'll still help me, won't you? Fine. You won't even know I'm here. Have I been that much of a burden?
not that bastard. What's the status on Freeman? Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involves something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. Squad! We got hostiles! Echo! Recon! to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. Yes, we'll have a better chance if we stick together. Hold on, Calhoun. I need to take a break. All right, let's hope we don't run into any more of those soldiers. Hey, Calhoun. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. Yes, here it is. We'll need to break through this to get to the elevator. All right, you won't even know I'm here. We should have chosen the Lambda reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures. All their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. Let's go.
Well, I hope the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Dr. Rosenberg, thank God you made it. We've managed to piece together some of the larger equipment, but you'll need to oversee the rest of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix, and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now, there's no time to waste. better shape than I expected. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now, this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Simmons, can you hear me? It's ready.
but it looks as though you were able to get the device operational. The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. We can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Follow me. Get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Look out! Get out of here! I can just.
was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh. preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. Very good. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. I'm going to 
go through next, but don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. I've set the system to automatically start the charging sequence once I've made it through. Just wait for the levels to reach full again and open the field like you've been doing. There he is! Calhoun, you've arrived! When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun! His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement... Thank God you made it. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this hair-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. <laughs>